Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Tay. This is No Seat Left Behind. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this holla bread going. My baby's in the bathroom getting all beautified. So, we're waiting on her because we gotta cook. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish setting up. You guys saw, and you'll see in this next clip that um, we were setting up to bake this holla bread. Happy New Year, Rasa the year 5783. And uh, I'm excited about this holla bread and this cake. Stay tuned. So, we do have everything that we need now. Instead of the non stick spray, because I couldn't find anything that I was comfortable with, I got the parchment paper and I'm going to use the vegetable oil. So, this is for the holla bread. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this bread, guys. I'm so excited. It's my first time making challah bread for the New Year's, in general, but for the New Year's. So, I have my honey bunny here with me. She's going to help me, just like she helped me with the cake. We did that together. So, what's the first step, Taylor? And, oh, yeah, you guys already got my introduction. I'm Tay, but my daughter's name is Taylor. All right, so we have our mixing bowls here and all of our ingredients. What are we going to do? Um, in a large bowl. Large bowl. Dissolve yeast and one tablespoon of sugar. One and tablespoon of sugar, uh-huh. And one and one and one and three fourths cup of lukewarm water. Lukewarm water. Can you turn the water on? Mm -hmm. It says one three-fourth cup? Yes. Okay, so this is a half a cup, so that means we need a smaller one. Okay, so we have our three-fourths cup of water. Now what do we need? Um, three and a half teaspoons of dry yeast. Three and a half teaspoons. Okay, so we have our Fleshman's Bread Machine Instant Yeast. Three and a half teaspoons. Yeah, that looks interesting. So this is one-fourth teaspoon. This is one tablespoon, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, three and a half? Yes. Okay, so one, two, three, and this is half a teaspoon. Make sure you guys have your measuring utensils. What else? One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. Okay, so we only have this regular sugar for cooking, um, baking purposes, I should say. How much, buddy? One tablespoon. Tablespoon. Okay. Let me try this off. One tablespoon of sugar. So this is our tablespoon measure. One tablespoon. What else? It just says to dissolve it. Okay, so in my mind, dissolve <laughs> means to stir or whisk. So we're gonna whisk it in the water. Oh guys, look, I'm making yeast. Can't wait to learn to make my sourdough bread and all the other breads. This is my first time cooking with yeast, you guys. That I know of. Yeah, intentionally. My first time. I'm making bread. This is awesome. Okay, this is all, buddy. Now what? Okay, it says whisk a half a cup of vegetable oil. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Into the yeast. Into the yeast. So this is my half cup measure. It says whisk in. So that's my half. What else? Then beat in four eggs one at a time. Beat in four eggs. But one at a time. One at a time? Okay. Can you get me another egg out of the refrigerator? I have one. I have three up here, so I need one more. That's one egg, two, three, 
I just like making scrambled eggs. <laughs> but we're making bread. Three. Take this one here. No, that one's broken also? No. I'll take this one since it's broken. We can put this in the tray. I can't believe I used all the eggs. Okay, guys, so you got to find that, that eggshell. Why? This is a whole hot mess. I'm going to find it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there it is. I put four in there, right? Um, yes. Okay, now what? Um, with remaining sugar and salt. Remaining sugar and salt? One tablespoon. More? Okay, well. Well, I know we already used it. It said remaining, so I, I don't know if that means extra, but. One tablespoon of sugar also? It says one after the eggs with remaining sugar and salt. So I guess you only add the salt at this point. What was the salt? Because I didn't get to put salt in. The salt what, is one tablespoon of salt. Never said anything about the salt before until now, <laughs> and I'm like, you already put sugar in it, so I don't think you have to put. Okay, well, I'm gonna use this white salt. This one, state one tablespoon of salt. Um, yes. Okay, this is a tablespoon here. That's one tablespoon of salt. Gradually add flour. How much flour? Eight, eight, um, to eight and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So it says eight to eight and a half. We're going to use our cup measure on red one. You know what? This is four cups, so we're going to start here. Can you hand me that flour over there? I believe we had a little bit of flour left. This should be, this is two pounds, 32. Oh, okay, so this is more than eight cups. So this is four. And I'm not going to pack it because it didn't say pack it. Yeah, yeah, it just says gradually add flour. So this is four cups of flour here. It says eight cups, right? Yes. So she said we got to gradually. Oh, bumped you guys. Look, guys, I'm making holla bread. Gradually. Oh, it's getting and stiff. It says, when dough holds together, it is ready for kneading. <laughs> kind of looks like pancake mix. Okay. You guys, we're making challah bread around this piece. In real life, we're going to do this. So that's four cups so far. I'm surprised I don't need any more water. is really dry mm, no, no? Yes. okay it usually says to use a mixer but i think we'll be... we don't have a mixer no, and my arms are getting tired so i'm just gonna mix this with my hands and this is only four <laughs> this is four cu uh cups of flour yeah baked enough to know I might need a little bit more water than that but it's yeasty so I'm gonna mix this put four more cups in guys and I'll be back look I'm getting my rolling pin all worked up <laughs> see you sir the water in the flour cup to ratio is better now so I'm going to mix this by hand guys because I don't have an electric mixer got to get one now that I'm getting into this bacon but the texture does feel yeah appropriate Okay, so I'm going to mix this by hand and then knead it, and I'll be right back. So, because I don't have an electric mixer, my biceps and triceps are going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm just folding the dry flour into the moist flour to mix it in before I put it on the baking mat kind of pinch it in together ball it it's 
smush it in together. Well, I can say when I get my electric mixer, now that I'm getting into more baking outside of my pies and simple cakes, that I'm going to appreciate it. It feels really nice to the hands. Uh, <laughs> better than Play-Doh, actually. <laughs> but I do know now we got our water measurements correct because of how it feels and how it's holding together. So once I get all of the crumbs here, the pieces, I'm going to put it on the mat. Still got a little bit of dry flour in the bottom. You know what, I'm just gonna dump it out because I wanna get into it and get my hands uh, molded into it. So I'm gonna set this bowl to the side because I'm gonna use the same bowl to let it rise. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start kneading. So you kind of push at it because you want to incorporate everything. Kneading also means folding and rolling. You just work it together to make sure you're getting all of your dry flour in with your moist flour, your eggs and your oil. It does feel nice. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it was easier making the pie crust. <laughs> but this is bread. Pie crust is a different texture. Excuse me, guys. We're getting there. Okay, Taylor. I feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, what are they going to call for me to do? As you can see, there are very few... Oh goodness gracious, this is a workout. Very few parts that are still dry. So you want to flip, fold, push and rock. Flip, fold, push and rock because we don't have an electric oh, blender. As you can see. Oh, this is a good upper body workout. Flip, fold rock <clears throat> i'm listening um clean out bowl and grease it then return bowl to bowl all right clean out bowl and return dough grease the bowl. just want to look at it to make sure yep yeah, it's mixed good so i'm gonna wash this bowl out guys and i'll be right back oh my gosh you guys okay this really is a piece of work literally and i pulled it like this because i wanted to make sure there were no dry uh no dry flour in it and just rocking it actually helps excuse me guys mix it better so i'm just waiting look at it guys all right let's go ahead and Put it in the bowl okay now I'm supposed to oil my bowl now that it's clean I'm just gonna put this in a nice little ball here pinch the top pinch the top I want to roll this side too because this side is beautiful <laughs> so I'm gonna roll it into a nice little ball there we go I feel better about this all oh, these mats are so helpful look at that so I'm supposed to grease my bowl I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil on the napkin pour a drop or two in the bowl so it doesn't stick and i'm just going to oil the bowl and we have our bowl bowl, uh, bowl oil we're gonna put our beautiful our beautiful dough in there and then taylor's gonna wrap it it's now 8 46 we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and leave it until it's half that size for an hour no way you guys so i just took this out of <laughs> the refrigerator i'm officially a baker oh gosh sorry <laughs> look it is doubled in size for real you guys it really worked all right so we're gonna move to the next step what do we have to do boo uh,
after we take it out because it's been in there for an hour look oh my gosh it's a hollow loaf this is supposed to make this ingredient from what oh it feels so nice and smooth this okay. ingredient from what i read is going to make two hollow loaves because now we're going to cut it in half and then it's going to bake up into uh, a larger quantity he says, punch dough down, cover, and let rise again in warm place for another half hour. What? I gotta punch the dough down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of air in it. That makes sense. Oh, gosh. Oof. This is gonna be good bread. It's like hard, bro. That makes sense, though, about the punching. Yeah. Hit the <laughs> air out. Okay. Alright, I guess that's I can't punch any harder. That's hurt my hand and my wrist. All right, it says cover and then put it in back. Put it in a warm place for another half hour. So we're gonna cover it and leave it for half an hour, guys. Right here. <laughs> I didn't know you do that. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, guys, we set our dough aside to let it rise a second time for thirty minutes. Look at it. Okay, but what are we supposed to do? Oh, I'm sorry, boo. Mm. To make the six braid holla, six braid holla, either straight or circular, take half of the dough and form it into <laughs> six balls with your hand. Half of the dough, okay. And roll each ball. Look, it's like shrinking. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's kind of fun. It's like air in it. Okay. So I'm supposed to take half of it and do what? Roll it into six balls. Okay. So I take half of the dough. We're going to just cut it straight down the center like this with my big knife. And then roll it into six balls because this is supposed to make two, right? Um, I don't know. But... It smells like bread already. Mmm, smell it. Yeah. Okay, I'm supposed to roll it roll the half. half into six balls. One, I'm really good at this. My daughter's actually better than me at this because she likes dumplings. One, okay. This recipe calls for two um, hollow loaves because they're going to swell. Three. My daughter says I do this really fast, but it's because I make dumplings. Get a little bit more for this one. Okay, four. I look like I'm <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they're too small. I need to get a little bit more on that. One, that's better. <sighs> you guys, when I say a shoulder workout in real life, a whole shoulder workout. <laughs> Two. Three. Okay. When you're done, um, you have to make, you have to roll each ball into a strand that's 12 inches long. That's three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take a little bit off of here. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Them into strands that's 12 inches long. This is what we're gonna do, guys, just to make sure we got enough for everybody. <laughs> there we go. I think now, since I was supposed to do it in six, so I'll be back. I'm quickly learning if you roll them <laughs> on the mat <laughs> to get them into the perfect ball. There you go. You're better off than trying to roll it in your hand first. I'm telling you, excuse me for shaking the camera. It's like those one, two, three. Because we're going to have to neat, uh, roll these in little strands. It's like the hard dough. They were like, you got to make a sculpture. When I was in high school, I was like, y'all are crazy. I didn't say that, of course, I was a kid. But I was like, are you guys kidding me? This is hard. This dough is hard. It's not malleable. Like, seriously. Okay. 
And the last one. This is for the first hollow bread. So we're going to do this first loaf and bake it to show you how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what do we do? Roll them into strands of 12 inches long. 12 inch strands. And one and a half inch wide. One and a half inch wide. Oh my gosh. Here we go. These are going to be the braids. So. Sorry, guys. 12 inches. <laughs> well, this one's not going to be 12 inches. Let's see. Oh, we can actually get there. That's fine. Now I know. Thank God for this measuring mat, guys. We can actually do 12 inches. We can roll and roll. This is getting longer. Yeah, obviously, you start in the middle. And you push out to the right. There we go. 12 inches. We got a little bit more we got to get here. So let's keep rolling out from the center or whatever part is. There we go. 12 inches. That's one boo. What happened? You just keep doing that. All right. We got six more to go. We'll be back. All right. We got our six. Our six uh, strands. Now what do we do? Braid three and three. I think I read it. Okay. Place the six in a row parallel to one another. Pinch the tops of the strands together. Move the outside right strand over two strands. Or you could do that. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be all six together. Okay. Now we're going to do this three. I pinch the top together and we're gonna plait it. They say braid, but flat looks more more realistic is what I'm doing. Okay, this is going to be in my mind. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. And I feel like I'm supposed to do it like this. What else do they say? It's not supposed to go like that. I'm supposed to do all six. That's what I was saying. Okay. I'll Louis, I don't know. We could leave it like that. Are you trying to make a rounded one or just the braided one? It's the braided look. The hollow braid is braided. So, it, what does that say? Either straight or circular. Or make it a circular or the straight one. A circular of the straight one. So, basically, I feel like... Oh, these are two hollows. So, I'm supposed to have six strands. How do I do this? This is not... This is the straight one. It'll grow it'll it'll like bake up like this because i know this looks like the the straight loaf but then it's a round loaf so i'm feeling like we're gonna braid like this and make it beautiful look at that um sister braiding my loaf now i want it to be together like this so do I just pinch the ends and hope for the best? You know what? This actually looks... You know what? There we go. <laughs> you know, we're going to find out oh, yeah. very soon because it actually looks more like a round hollow loaf. And then we take the remaining egg and we brush it on top. We take the egg. Okay. And we pinch this end. Look yeah, at my little holla, guys. Egg. Wait. Make second loaf the same way. Mm -hmm. Place the braided loaves on a greased cookie sheet. Okay. With two inches between. So I'm going to take that egg. To get my, he my bowl here. And I'm going to brush it. Sorry. Right. Where's the egg? Okay. I sure didn't want egg wash. I just want one egg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get brush. Get your... oh, okay. You guys, do you see my little holla? So we're gonna beat this little egg. <laughs> and it says I'm supposed to brush with the egg and I'm gonna put it on 
my cast iron. So we're going to use the largest cast iron because I'm not quite certain what it requires of little old me. And I don't want to stick to, stick to the pan. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to oil my pan. Where's the oil? I'm going to oil just a little drop of my paper. There we go. Because I don't want to use nonstick spray. Oil my paper. It's not going to stick now. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put my beautiful holla loaf braid directly in the center. Pinch it together because this red is going to be <laughs> the best ever. I'm going to take my egg that I beat and it says brush it with nothing else, right? Nope, so I'm going to brush my egg. No sesame seeds. We don't have any. There's going to be egg on this paper because mm -hmm. it's on here. So we're going to beat the egg. I beat it, boo. Oh. It's just weird because it's like egg juices. All right. So this is the first one and I'm going to put it in the oven. You should make like a, a cinnamon one and then make a um, another one that's salty. And we're going to put it. Ouch. Careful, mommy. I already broke my hand. Well, I guess I didn't hold boy. Hit my hand. That's the best I could do, guys. So we're going to check on it. <laughs> How long are we supposed to cook it for? Bake it for? Check it now. Mm -hmm. 35 to 40 minutes. 35 minutes, and we'll check on that. I'm going to make the second one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to check on the bread because it smells amazing. Oh, you guys. Look at the one at the top. Oh, my gosh. I'm making a hollow loaf. I guess we're gonna come back and check on it. I'm feeling like I should put that top one on the bottom, so let's do that. My daughter's holla loaf is so gorgeous. Oh, look at mine, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm making bread. So I'm gonna put it down on the bottom. That's Taylor, she she braided that together and that's mine, so we're gonna check on it again. All right, guys, let's check on this bread. Yeah, that's a lot of smoke, but in real life, I need to take this one out. And hers is beautiful. It's about to be done. All right, guys, this is my holla bread. Maybe I should have pinched that a little better, but I don't think we did bad. <laughs> okay, you guys, here's my bread. I've already eaten a piece. Let me butter it. It's so good. Definitely don't know how I'm gonna butter this without a stick of butter, but maybe if I take a little piece of the soy butter. That it'll work, but it tastes so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. We did good. We did really good, you guys. So when you take it out, just uh grab your stick of butter, whatever you have and butter the top of it. <laughs> the butter already melts on that side. Let me just stick that in the bottom. Inside of the bread. Let's just call it what it is. Melted butter already. And there you have it. Our first hollow loaf, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Me and my buddy did that. The pan is hot, so make sure you have your, like, um, make sure you have your fork in your mittens. And I'm going to break it. Look at this, guys. Oh, hot. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Happy New Year's. Go ahead. 
Tell my that my baby. My daughter, I should say. She's 21 now. I gotta stop doing that. She's gonna go first and dip the apple in the honey. You guys, that's her hollow loaf, bro. <laughs> that's her hollow loaf that she braided. I mixed it, she wrapped me the ingredients, and she made it. So she's going to dip now the bread and the hollow loaf. We've already blessed them for the Passover. Not the Passover. We've already blessed them for the Rosh Hashanah New Year. You guys have a blessed New Year.